Slopes and lines. Application question 2. Find the values of x so that the line passing through the points has the given slope. Just as we did in application question 1, here we need to find the point coordinates, right? For a given slope. So we'll adopt the same method and I hope you can do it. So minus 5 is your slope. So minus 5 is equal to what? y2 minus y1. That's the slope, right? So minus 3 minus 3 divided by x2 minus x1, which is minus 2 minus x. Now we'll cross multiply and solve, right? So in this case, it is minus 5 times minus 2 minus x is equal to minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, correct? Now you can open the bracket and then solve. So minus 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 plus 10 and minus minus is plus 5x equals to minus 6. And 5x will be equals to minus 6 minus 10 which is minus 16. x is equals to minus 16 divided by 5. Now here the next question slope is 1. So 1 equals to minus 6 minus 6 divided by x minus minus 2. That means x plus 2. Now cross multiply x plus 2 equals to minus 12. And x is equals to minus 12 minus 2 which gives us minus 14. For this one 2 over 5 equals to y2 minus y1. Sometimes you have difficulty in doing fractions, okay? You can write 0.5 here in that case. So 0 0.5 minus 4 divided by 2 minus x, right? Cross multiply and solve for x. I hope you can do it. If you are having difficulty in solving equations, look into my videos of solving equations so that you can understand what I am doing here, right? I find sometimes students struggling to solve equations, but that's okay at this stage. Uh, and it's not so easy either. So what I did was, for example, here, I subtracted 2 from both the sides, right? Then it became x here and minus 12 minus 2 equals to minus 14. I'm not writing all those steps. I kind of assume that you know how to solve the equations. My emphasis here is the very first step. That is to show you that if slope is given to you, how to find the point, right? That's my equation. And now from here, how to solve the equations is another algebraic problem, correct? If you are having trouble doing that, my suggestion is look into the videos for solving algebraic equations, okay? Thank you.